Hello, this is Captain Brad, president of SD Model Makers, and today we're going to talk about how to take pictures of your sailboat for a full hull model. So let's start with pretending that I had a camera and I'm going to emphasize the pieces of the boat that we need for pictures. Now to take pictures, you don't need to be a professional and you don't need to use a high-res camera. Certainly taking pictures with a cell phone or a disposable camera is fine. Generally, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 pictures will do. So let's talk about different sections, starting with the outside and the bow. So in the bow area, what we want to capture is some pieces that are important. Starting with the bow pulpit and the bow pulpit area and the anchor, any anchor setups. Secondly, the shear line. Many boats have a shear line along the top and we want to capture that as a separate photograph. And then looking down at the water line in particular. Many boats have not just a solid water line, but many pieces of water line, two or three lines put together, as well as a section of the bottom paint. And then we keep coming along. We take quarter sections. So we've taken two or three of the bow. We take a quarter section of the boat. Little details again, like the shear line, any vents and tow rails, stanchions and lifelines. So we've taken another. Any windows are particular. Sections for cleats and the cleat setup. And then one of the things that we want to talk about is a color match. Uh, we use an owl grip, has a color matching chart, as this one you can see has holes in it, and we hold it up to the boat and we do our best to kind of get into a particular color match. As you can see, there's almost eight shades of white, so matching the color is important. Also, there's about four different shades of red. Okay. Continuing on, we also want to capture the shear stripe at the, at the aft area of the boat. And then we're going to look at the transom. So, so in the transom area, you need to capture, I need two to three shots of the transom. We're getting the name of the vessel, the hailing port. We're also able to duplicate if you have a Yacht Club Burgee, we could place the placement on there. We'd like you to give us a PDF file of the Yacht Club uh, flag so that we can duplicate it perfectly. Also on the boat, we're capturing pieces like stanchions, lifelines, here's GPS, navigation lights, etc. Now let's talk about the interior of the boat. So we'll come on board, and I've already removed my shoes. Skipper has given me permission to come on board. So we'll start with, again, what I want to do is take a picture of the aft quarter from the starboard side. I want to take a picture of the aft quarter from the port side. What I've captured here now is the pedestal, uh, wheel, traveler system, any other systems in here. And then I go to the one section of the transom. And now I take another picture of the cockpit this side. And then I'm going to go over here and take another picture of the cockpit here. Now I look to move forward. I want three to four pictures. One of this starboard side, one of the cabin top, and then one on the port side. What this is also capturing is all the details of the cabin area. The cabin entry, winches, excuse me, winches, uh, cleats, any other deck hardware, handles, uh, jib sheet systems, and then we want to take a picture of the boom. Boom section, which captures the vang, hatches, and then we get a picture of the mast. I want three sections of the mast. The lower section, the midsection showing spreaders, and then the top showing the wind vane. And then moving forward at the mast, I can turn around and take another picture of the entire aft section of the boat. Two or three sections is nice. And then I turn forward and I get a section of the bow. Now I'm capturing the uh, hatches, Anchor, anchor locker, and once again, the bow pulpit. They'll capture everything. So, armed with those photos and any drawings that your builder may provide to us, any pictures you can add that maybe the boat's out, of the, out on the hard so we get an underwater profile, all are very helpful, and we will be able to create for you a museum quality memory that will last for a lifetime of your boat as a replica model. Thank you. Smooth sailing.